back to The Five Life. I'm Jessica, and this is my amazing brother-in-law, Brett. Today, we wanna to showcase this Tesla Model Y car. We wanna share whether or not this car is a great car for your family. So, Brett, why did you buy the Tesla in the first place? Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of reasons to, to have a Tesla and to get a, a you know, a spe specifically the Model Y. Uh, and I would like to say that it's only for the safety that I bought the Model Y uh, because there are some great safety features. But uh, you know, there's a lot of tech involved. Having an electric car, they're super. They can be super fast. And uh, Tesla has just done a, a, an amazing job at innovating uh, these vehicles and separating them from the internal combustion engine cars that you know are their competitors there. So I'm a dad. I, you know, we're we're family, and we we wanted to go on this. It's been a, it was a road trip for us. For you, it was a really big road trip. Yeah. Us, it was a little bit shorter of a road trip. And you know, I felt like shorter road trips are literally the perfect reason to have a Model Y for the family versus some of their other models, like the Model Three, uh, just because it's big enough to have cargo space and stuff, and it's safe, and but it's not uh, it's not massive and so we wouldn't be able to, to fit like five kids in there or three kids even would be would be a stretch and bikes and everything it would be too much for for the model y so it's kind of right in that rav4 car range okay let's hop in the car and show me all the cool features the tesla offers Okay, so Brett, tell us more about the Tesla. Yeah, totally. Well, there's a lot of different areas to consider when you are going to buy a car in general, and then whether or not to get an electric car, and then Tesla too. Um, but really, the biggest things that people care about are gonna be how safe is it? That's probably the biggest for families. Um, how, what's the affordability of it? Uh, how much does it cost and, and how, how much is it to maintain and how difficult is it to maintain? Is there enough cargo space for, for me and my family? Uh, so let's talk about first the safety of the car. Something unique to Tesla's front of a car of the Tesla, there's no motor there. There's no giant engine block uh, there, and so it's just basically a little trunk. And so if you were to uh, hit something from the front, the engine block wouldn't get pushed into the family. It is a lot safer to have this extra crumple zone, as they call it. Um, so the actual build of the car is going to be a safer build for families. Besides that, some of the unique technology that, that Tesla has incorporated into the car, like all of the cameras and the uh, AI uh, self-driving features, have prevented, even within the month that we've had it, uh, my wife and I and our family from getting in a wreck. This combination of the physical build of the vehicle and the visual technology that's in the car that's made it really safe. Teslas are expensive vehicles. Uh, when you compare them to a Toyota, we, we came from a Toyota Corolla to this car, and uh, it's significantly more upfront cost. Now, there are things that offset that cost and are going to reduce your cash outlay over time, and uh, and, and so that, that's going to help, but upfront, it's, it's definitely more money. Uh, right now, with the way the economy is, the interest rates are incredibly low, uh, and so I think ours was around 2.75% as far as uh, interest rates, and so that helps with the affordability. But this car, uh, the package that we got is the is was $62,000. The cost to maintain the car are a lot less over time. So we fill up the car to about 80%, 90% every day, and uh, at our house, just plugging it into our wall, which is super convenient, by the way. And it costs maybe $4 uh, to, to fill it up to full. We live here in Utah, and the electricity is about 14 cents a kilowatt. The car's capacity is 70 kilowatts, so it's not very much to fuel the car. And then the maintenance is amazing. There's basically none. You have, uh, you need to fill the windshield wiper fluid, and then every about five years, you need to check the battery fluid. and and then obviously the brakes as well. It costs much less to maintain the car, it's much cleaner. I wanted to show you some of the cargo uh, space. It's uh, pretty incredible the amount of space Tesla has figured out how to kind of squeeze out of this small package. <laughs> uh, so if I open this up here, 
So here's the trunk space. It's uh, pretty roomy. It's kind of hard to tell, so I'm gonna hop back here and you can kind of see if I just crouch down, you could store me back here. But um, underneath, if I open this up, there's lots of, uh, there's this extra kind of bonus trunk in the bottom. That's about enough, uh, big enough to fit a cooler. Uh, and, uh, and then there's actually some space under there too for the charging pack and a few other items. And then you have these Will Well covers. So in the back here, one of the things families really like about Tesla cars, and then specifically the Model Y, is you can fold these seats down. So you can fold these seats down and, uh, and really have a lot of space here. But I can fit back here, and there's a panoramic, it's hard to see from here, but there's a panoramic roof that you can just look up and see the stars. Now on this trip that we're on with Jess and uh, the rest of the family, we wanted to take a break and you know have nap time obviously. And so Brinley uh, came and she just took a pillow and slept here in the back. And the nice thing about Teslas is you can just leave them on, turned on and leave the AC blowing. And it's really not using a lot of energy um, it, unlike idling a, a car would, would do. And so you, you leave it on, there's something called camp mode that keeps the car at a certain temperature. And we just had it nice and cool for her in here. And then, and we had um, it, my wife actually just sit up in the front and, and hang out while Brindley napped and it was great. It was perfect for that. The last cargo space that's pretty unique is this front trunk part. If I'm on the app on my phone, I can actually just go here and open it and it will unlock it, pop it open. And then here, this is enough space to keep uh, about a, uh, you know, like a uh, carry-on and uh, maybe some groceries if you wanted to do that. I wanna go and talk about some of the fun stuff in the Model Y for families. Um, so first is this giant display here. So we're, we're charging right now and you get this fun display for, uh, for charging and, um, and you set here the, the level of charge you want. But um, in this section, this is kind of the theater and arcade section of the car. This is everything. If you kind of zoom back here, you can see that there's no dashboard, really. There's, it's, it's very minimalistic. Really, the only thing in here is this, this big display. Okay, this section can only be accessed when the car's stopped and in park. So you can't ride around watching YouTube videos or, or Netflix videos. Um, but yeah, you have this theater section, you have YouTube and Netflix to watch, Hulu, um, and, uh, and then if you come over to the arcade section, this is super fun, and what car has this? Down here in the console, if I open this up, there, I've got a controller down here, and you can plug this controller into the car, and you can play games uh, straight from here. This game right here, Beach Buggy Racing, this is like, if, if you guys have ever played Mario Kart, it's like Tesla's version of Mario Kart, and in fact, even the cars are Tesla cars in the game. And so you can actually play that with the steering wheel by turning the steering wheel. So kind of a lot of fun things there. Um, there's a lot of videos that go over all the stuff that's in, uh, all the entertaining things, but just the fun things that my family has really liked. Uh, this section is called a karaoke section. And this is going to be just a bunch of songs that Tesla has on here. And when you, uh, when you go to play it, it'll have, and I'm gonna pause it, when it starts up, but it'll have text coming on here. Um, but those are just a couple of the things that my family has found to be really fun. Um, but the big, the big safety feature here is the autopilot and the um, self-driving features of the car. Uh, basically, all of the cameras around the car are looking for anything out of place, anything that's that's going wrong. And we, we had this situation uh, just the other day while we were driving on the freeway, somebody was pulling into the lane next to us and they were coming in at a really sharp angle. And so the car, without me doing anything, just slowed down really quickly and they weren't even in our lane yet. So they weren't technically an obstacle, but the, the autopilot software was predicting a potential wreck, which is, really awesome and I was really impressed and proud about that. It's not perfect yet, it's not completely full self-driving yet, uh, but it's uh, it's getting there. But that's pretty much it. Uh, so the, I recommend the Model Y car for families personally and I think Ashley would uh, agree with me just mainly for the safety part of it and it's fun, it's really quiet in there, it's a, a great experience driving and 
and super convenient charging at home. And so, but yeah, that's it. And thanks for having me on, Jeff.